Alright, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy David. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing good. I'm doing good as well. So we are back with another video. So I really, I was not even gonna, I wasn't even gonna record today, right? So like, I've been like super busy. Um, I've, I've already gone to like five interviews in the past few days. I have like three more interviews in the next couple of days. So I have a lot of interviews coming up. I'm graduating college this December. So, you know, I've, it's been a really busy time. I, I, like making a video did not even cross my mind because, you know, I had to wake up at like 6.30 a.m. today. To, to get ready for my first interview and you know it's just been so busy and then after my two interviews I had two classes and I basically I was I was either at, at interviews or at class for like you know the entire day like 11 hours but you know I saw on Twitter that test run released so I decided uh, to just give you guys um, my thoughts on it so people on Twitter were uh, posting about the uh, updates uh, in Wizard 101 and Test Realm that may or may not happen. So what they did was they uh, make uh, Guardian Spear no PvP. Um, so I asked did they fix boosting? Because I don't know. Like I never played Test Realm. But just for the sake of this video I downloaded Test Realm. Um, so uh, thank you to Lotus Trevor for uh, this response. So this, is, this response is what uh, the video is going to be based off of. So um, Apparently, uh, yeah, they make Guardian Spirit no PvP, reduce lore damage by 200, reduce debuffs on lore, and made Rampage delay hit activate on third round instead of second. All right, so I'm just gonna respond. Uh, I'm just gonna respond to this. Um, so, as a former number one ranked duelist, um, I'm the only person in the history of Wizard 101 that's been uh, the number one ranked duelist on two characters all right i'm the only one that's had two characters who were at one point um the number one uh ranked duelist in the world so you know and i go back all the way like i'm an 08 duelist right i'm an og og top tier honestly in my opinion and in the opinion of a lot of duelists i'm still like the goat in pvp and was 101 pvp um if I'm not the GOAT, then I don't know who is, but I'm at least I'm in a discussion, right? No one's ever no one's ever gonna like name their top three, top five duelist in Wizard 101 and not name me, unless they're a hater, right? So as so as someone who is potentially the best duelist in the history of Wizard 101, I feel that it is imperative that I give my thoughts on the updates. All right, it's I feel like it's imperative that I give my thoughts on the change. You know, like it's it's literally like what it's like uh, 9:25, right? It's 9:25 p.m. Usually people like to record during the day so they can have that natural light. I'm literally just using a lamp, right? Like it's not ideal to film this late, but I literally just do not have time in the day. I never do, and. You know, I thought about it, I was like, eh, I probably shouldn't film at night, but I don't have time at, during the day, so should I just not make the video? And then I was like, you know what, no, I need to make the video, because I feel like my thoughts are very important, and it needs to be said. Before I even address each of these individually, I hope what's happening is King Zhao is trying to make the game more balanced, right? Because they nerfed Juju, now they're uh, going to uh, at least attempt, uh, or potentially nerf Guardian Spirit, or just get rid of it, and nerf Lore. So the all, all three of these are really over overpower spells um and which is okay so my philosophy on game uh pvp is that overpowered is okay um as long as it's not like broken to the point where it's almost unbeatable right overpowered is okay because you can't have you can't have complete balance with seven schools right that's just impossible so Overpowered is okay. Balance has been overpowered for a long time. They were borderline broken. I wouldn't say they were broken, but maybe my colleagues would disagree and say they are broken. Uh, in my opinion, they were only borderline broken. So the point is, I hope King Zhao is doing this because they're trying to make the game more balanced and they're trying to get out, they're trying to get rid of uh, spells that are too overpowered. I hope that's the case. What I'm afraid is the case instead is that, you know, King Zhao is very, uh, I don't want to say stupid, but like, they, they have a wrong vision for the gaming industry, right? So they think that where they get their money is going to be, you know, making people quest. 
They think that if more people quest to higher levels and max out the characters, then that's how they get the money, which is completely false. The vast majority of money in the gaming industry is in competitive, alright? It's in competitive PvP, player versus player. Like, how do you know- how do you not know that? How do you not know that? Like, every game, every game, be it League, Fortnite, whatever it is, Tekken, like, literally every genre, Yu-Gi-Oh! All the publicity, all the promotion, all the growth comes from the competitive arena. So, PvP is where they actually make their money, but in their head, they think that making you level up is what's going to make you the money, which is not, because people, they level up and they'll quit, alright? They'll level up, they try PvP, it sucks, they quit, alright? So what I'm afraid their what I'm afraid their goal is is that I'm afraid that their goal is that okay we're gonna nerf all strategies that are uh, mid level mid level strategies so like so the the meta is in middle in mid levels right because that's the highest rank you can get in the middle levels because if you're too high level then everyone you face has the same stats and it's hard to rank up but if you're middle level you can face some softer weaker opponents who just are higher level so i'm afraid that they think that okay let's just keep nerfing these mid level spells so that way they can't beat these higher levels, so that way they'll level up. If that is the case, that's never going to work because uh, strategy works no matter the spell. It's never about the spell, it's always about the duelist. Let me just give you an example. So I'm making a fire, right? So like, this is probably going to be my fire final character, but it's a fire, right? They're nerfing Rampage, which I'm completely okay with, right? Because I never plan on farming for Rampage. I never farm for lore spells in my life, by the way, and I'm an 08 player. I never farm for lore spells. Um, so I never plan on using Rampage anyways. Uh, I was planning to show you guys what first stage fire PvP looks like. Um, you know, I, as I say, I'm in the camp of Bill Belichick, as Bill Belichick always says stick to the fundamentals right so i'm an old school kind of guy so you know my plan was always to show you guys what first age pp looked like you know i can easily beat level so if i do 60 pp i can easily beat level 80 90 100 110 120 130 i could easily beat all those levels without with zero lore spells all right with pure skill so if their plan is that it's never gonna work however if their plan is to try to make the game more balanced then then Great job, the Kings Out. Um, that's definitely something that we should applaud them for. And Kings Out has had a history of removing really overpowered spells. Um, so a lot of people might not know this, but you know, Kings Out has like their entire history. You know, like we we do bash on them. We do bash on them a lot, and they do kind of deserve it sometimes. But all throughout their history, they basically. Almost, they basically always removed spells that were overpowered, all right, or broken. So, for example, uh, Wild Bolt. Wild Bolt was at one point really broken, right? So they changed it and fixed it. Judgment. This was really old. This was like 0809. This is extremely old, and 90, 90 to 95 percent of you don't know what I'm talking about. But Judgment actually used to be more powerful than what it is and judgment actually used to be broken broken meaning too overpowered and they actually fixed judgment see people most people don't have no idea of that right they fixed a lot of broken spells um juju is another example uh they fixed juju by uh yeah they fixed juju so you know, we have to give credit where credit is due. King's Out has always identified and removed problems. Um, and I also want to address, there's a lot of lore spammers, all right? There's a lot of balanced lore spammers who are good duelists, even great duelists, nowhere near the top tier duelist kind of identification. They're not, they're not anywhere near being a top tier duelist, but they're good or great duelists. And it's because they spam lore and it affects them personally so they're upset about it and there's a lot of lore spammers because it, you know it's it's been the most broken strategy in Wizard 101 for years right so what do you do what do gamers do when there's a broken strategy you join the pack right so there's a lot of people that followed the herd and joined the pack and now have become uh, lore spammers. So there's a lot of people invested personally with their personal wizards. So I understand why they're upset. I probably would be upset too if I had a lore spammer. Um, 
I don't know, maybe. I don't think I would be, honestly, just because I don't really care that much. But I feel like I definitely would care more than I do now because I don't have a lore spammer. But I definitely understand why people, some people are upset because they're personally affected. It's their go-to strategy. Lore, 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 lore. Um, it's, it's just obviously not my style. Um, it's, it's just so far away from the fundamentals. Like, lore is like, lore is like the Sean McVay of Wizard 101. You know, it's new, it's flashy, doesn't work. Stick to the fundamentals. I mean, it works if you want to be great. It doesn't work if you want to be the best. Um, anyways, I'm making a lot of football analogies, so a lot of you probably won't even know what I'm talking about. So basically, if, uh, a summary of my thoughts is, I completely agree with these. Uh, I completely agree with these nerfs. I, I do agree with these nerfs. The Guardian Spirit is the one I'm most iffy about because I feel like um, they're doing this because they want people to level up because that's how they think they'll make the money. That's not. So the bottom line is the more strategy and the less brokenness there is in PvP, then the more popular PvP will be. And Kings Out, please just trust me, all right? PvP is where you make your money. PvP is where you make your money, all right? So uh, I also want to uh, just make another plea to Kings Out. I've been one of, if not the most staunch advocate for anti-boosting in the Wizard 101 in the YouTube community, right? I've, I've made more videos, you know, coming out against it than pretty much every WizTuber. So I just want to, like, let Kings out. I want you, Kings out, I want you to, I want to let you know, all right? So one of the few, a uh, few updates ago, you thought about making rank PP, uh, level tiers right so if you're level 45 you could only face people between level 40 and level 50 right so basically you can only face people who are in the same level range as you so level 60s can only face other level 60s level 70s can only face other level 70s 120 130s can only face each other so on so forth right and then you backed out because you were afraid right because you know it actually really frustrates me because there was a lot of there's a lot of sheep on Twitter, on social media saying, oh, don't do this, PAP will be dead. Even on YouTube, even smart guys have said that. But it's just, it's just, it pains me, all right? And I, I guess I should have came out then. But, you know, I'm letting you guys know now. Don't listen to the words of sheep, all right? There's a lot of decently smart people. There's a lot of decently good duelists. There's even a lot of great duelists, right? But there's never any, like, top-tier duelists giving advice or giving their review and thoughts on these PvP updates and I thought it was necessary that I did, right? Because this needs to be said. That was an amazing idea, alright? That was an amazing idea because that would have fixed boosting. That would just fix boosting completely without alterating any of the basic mechanics of the game. And the biggest, so basically the only thing they were afraid of was that the game was going, it, there wasn't enough duelists in the arena, and it would take too long to find matches. That's what they, the only thing they were afraid of. But look, the only reason that the arena is becoming emptier and emptier is because of boosting. So, you, fixing boosting will bring back a tremendous amount of players. Ten, I'm talking tens of thousands of duelists. It will bring tens of thousands tens of thousands of duelists back into the game, back into the arena. And trust me, people will be able to find matches, all right? Now, if you're weird and you decide to do, like, level 90 PvP, then yeah, you won't find any matches. But, like, 90% of people that duel regularly, or even somewhat, or even, like, duel somewhat uh, sometimes, you know, they PvP... At the meta levels, at the popular levels, 50, 60, 30, 100, 130, you know what I mean? 90% of people are at those levels already. And if you're not, just go to those levels, all right? That was a brilliant idea, making ranked PvP level tiers. And it really hurt me. It, it, it hurt me deep when I saw the sheeps on Twitter and on YouTube. I'm not saying they're dumb, all right? They're intelligent, but again, they're just... And I'm not saying they're bad at PP. All, they're like good to great duelists, but nobody was a top-tier duelist. Nobody really fully understood, like I understand. I know I sound like I'm full of myself, but again, 
most people would consider me as the GOAT of Wizard 101 PvP, right? I'm an OA player, alright? I, I go way back, alright? I've done more PvP matches than anyone. I've probably done 10,000 PvP matches, alright? That's what makes me the GOAT. I know PvP, alright? That would be an amazing change. Kingzo, if you have the guts, if you have the guts to do this, it will pay off big. I know I know it's a big gamble, but trust me, trust me, from an OA player, from arguably the best duelist in Wizard 101, trust me, this is going to work and it's going to revive the game. Alright? For fifth HPP, is that right? Yes. For fifth HPP, when you reset for fifth age, I think next July or next whatever, next October, I'm not sure. Make PvP level tiers, all right? So that level 30, level 30s can only face each other, level 50s can only face other level 50s, so on and so forth. So you can only face people within your level. And you can maybe even make it like, I don't know, you can maybe even make it like between 15 levels. 20, between 20 levels, I think it's stretching a little bit because then people can still boost. Between 10 levels, 1 to 10, 11 through 20, so uh, 21 to 30, so on and so forth. It's going to work, alright? You are afraid that the PP scene is going to die if you do this. But no, the PP scene has been dying because you haven't done this. Because you haven't addressed the problem. If you figure out a more brilliant way to fix boosting, that's great. But the way that you already figured out was just brilliant. And you should have implemented it. You didn't have the guts, alright? You didn't have the guts, King Zhao. Please listen to my advice, alright? I know what I'm talking about. I know your game. And I'm a really smart guy, alright? And I have more experience in your game than probably most of your staff. I know Wizard 101, alright? I know business. I know the gaming industry. I know how this works. Make rank PvP where you can only face people in your level range. That will fix boosting, and it'll make PvP fun as well. You know, it'll make PvP fun because then you have like divisions in PvP. It's like boxing; you have weight divisions. Now in PvP, you can have level divisions. Oh, who's the best featherweight? Who's the best well? Who's the best welterweight? Who's the best heavyweight of all time or of currently? Now you can say, oh, who's the best Magus duelist of all time or who currently? Who's the best, you know, level one thirty duelist of all time or currently? The grand, legendary, all of that. All right, it would not make the game dead. It would revive the game if you did that. All right, if you fix boosting and people knew that they could get recognition and credit for their hard work, it would revive the game so much. Please do it, King Zhao. Please do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. It's been another David Lotus production. You can join the Lotus Clan by making a Lotus character in Wizard 101. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Until next time, peace.